Hello guys, welcome back to Frantical Gaming. I'm joined here by Chris Vengeance again. We are continuing playing the park. Last time we took a mind-boggling pants browning ride through a swan in a swan car through a cave playing us a really messed up version of Hansel and Gretel. Um, we're going to continue from where we left off, so enjoy. Don't get too scared, and let's dive straight in. Another accident. Yeah, it, oh, this one place. Nice. Yeah, if you press B, it calls uh, Callum. Callum, stay where hey. you are. Oh, open. <laughs> Is that his teddy bear? Is that his teddy bear? Oh, I hope that's not a teddy bear. Oh, it's a teddy bear suicide note. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, okay. You'll know this all has been for nothing, apparently. Um, something really messed up went down. Can I close the door? No. Oh, straight in the eye. An eye for an eye. That's harsh. Yeah, it is. Where are you? Callum! Callum! Over what? O over where? You creepy little shit. He's quite I'm just gonna run. So. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Callum, was that you? You throwing rocks at mummy? Someone's throwing rocks at me. I'm hearing them voices again. Maybe it's just me. Yeah. Yeah, it is a Ferris wheel. That looked like someone's face for a second. <laughs> or maybe I'm just getting a bit too freaked out already. Maybe, but that ride looks like fun. Let's go on the octopus. It is. Let's go on the octopussy! There's garbage everywhere. Who would have thought the cleaners were cleaned up? This old yeah. thing used to make the blood run to my head. Oh, there's a report. Make me dizzy. The guy just snapped. We were waiting for a turn on the ride. Frank, me and the boys. This fellow in the chipmunk suit is making an ice carving while people took photographs. Blah, 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 blah. Anyway, the chipmunk man. He was carving and poking away at the eyes, and at first we thought he was making some animal, like a tiger or a lion. But as more and more eyes fell away, we first looked, it was like a human face smiling out at the block of ice. But the more we looked at it, the more we saw that there was something not quite right about something. Yeah, my eyes are going the right Something small. unnatural that made your heart begin to beat just a little bit faster. Like you were a prey or the thing in the ice was a hunter. But then these teenagers walked up and one of them made a face at the carpet and, and said something rude to the guy in the chipmunk suit. And then, well, he went berserk. For a few moments it was chaos. Everyone was running away from the guy who had one of the teenagers on the ground and he was stab, stab, stabbing with the ice pick and blood was spraying and people were screaming. Frank and I had the kids and we were dragging them away as fast as we could. And the last thing I saw before Frank dragged me away was that the eyeball of one of those poor kids had landed on the ice sculpture making the horrible creature look. And the teddy bear, the teddy bear, the teddy bear had an eye for the eye. Told you, eye for an eye. Yeah. The teddy bear. The fucking Can teddy bear. This I don't know. I want to. I don't know, it's making a horrible noise. I don't think we should go on it. Oh, whoa, 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 are we going to go left or right? I'm, I'm trying to get on this right, mate. Oh, okay, you, you want to go on the car, right? Mommy needs to see you, Callum. It's Aaron Pennyworth. Oh. oh, I remember this. Oh, that looks like a such a happy face. <laughs> I don't like the creepy man in the background, though. I can't get on while it's moving. Stop it. Decrease speed. Better than why I do, I'd increase it. Oh, faster. Stop! I would like to ride. Yeah, 
Yay! Question: If we have to, if we can't get on while it's moving, how are we going to get off while it's moving? Can I just um. ask? When no one's holding the controls. So how does it just start? Uh, just keep keep looking at that box. Okay, make sure you um, look at that box. I can't. Can you hear the camera that way? There's someone in the box. There's someone in the box. There's someone in the box. Oh, oh God, no, no, It's a creepy no, man. No. It's a creepy man. The man with the hat. The man with the hat. I want, I want off. Man. I want off. Um. Um. Oh. 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 No fucking hell! Fuck that. <laughs> 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 Fuck that. Fuck that. I don't like it. <laughs> I was expecting us to. I was expecting us to like go off. Oh, he's he's still there. Can we not stop next to him, please? Can we not? Can we not go off the ride now? No, please. I don't, he's there. I see him. You had to. You had to, didn't you? Can we make it blow up? <laughs> <laughs> make a cock of bombs. Right. Didn't you bring up a map? No, I didn't. Can look at more popping up and down. Pop, 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 pop. Don't hide right. from me, Callum. That way. That way. Is that way. Treachery hides in thoughts. Treachery that lashes like a whip and scars our insides. <laughs> the first time I saw Callum, my thoughts betrayed me. I looked down at this wrinkled, red, bawling thing and I thought, is that it? We build our world from expectations, and the world that I had built for Callum is no different. He was so real, so there. And so far from my expectations. Oh, we're headed for the bumper cars. And as they fell into pieces, that one treacherous thought became a new foundation. All of the love that we shared, all of the warmth and goodness that followed, um, built on a single nope. traitorous thought. Nope. Read the page from a distance. Oh my god. Uh, skim it, skim it, skim it, so everything's good. Uh, also, I quit. I don't want to see that chipmunk suit ever again. Right. Come so on, sweetie. Oh, look, your mother! <laughs> fuck your mother. No, no. Quickly leaving. Quickly fucking leaving. <coughs> fuck your mother. No, we can't go in the door. It's all good. Can't go in the door. Just checking. I didn't want to miss something, but that Jesus shit. Christ, I didn't want to actually go in Well, there. that's creepy. Callum! Where did you go? Please come back, Callum. <laughs> He's probably on the bumper cars. Mummy doesn't want to go on the bumper cars anymore. Constant crashes and 80s music. Guess it floats someone's boat. Yeah, mine love. Love me some bumper cars. I don't, uh, can I ride them? That's depressing if you can't. I want to ride bumper cars. Come to mommy, Callum. But that one's got headlights on. Maybe we can go on that one. Yeah, head towards that one. What's the worst that can happen heading to one car that's got lights on? Oh, accident report. <laughs> that's what could happen. I've seen someone on the back of the load undoing the straps 
Nobody else reported seeing that. The sheriff has requested that Dexter uh, provide them with a urine sample. Ha! Unlucky. Uh, what could have done the uh, damage? Double checking the straps. Okay, so basically, he sort of saw someone on the back of it. Um. No bumping. Get the fuck out of there. Well, as much as I don't want to go towards this, I'm going towards it. Are you missing a roller coaster? Yeah, we'll go over there and see. Okay. We'll probably have to end up there anyways. I hope so. Actually, I kind of don't. I have a fear of roller coasters, so... It's a matter of public record that I am a failure as a mother. Once, when Callum was very small, I left him asleep in the car while I ran an errand. Don't even remember what it was. <laughs> when I came back, the sheriff was standing next to the car, watching oh, my boy through the window. Perfect. No. I didn't like what I saw in his eyes. Judgment. You sure it was judgment? That's he wrote me the ticket without saying a word. Just the scratch scratch of his pen on the notepad. When he gave it to me, our eyes met. I know what you're going through. My daughter, Helen, she... Just get some help. Help was a bolt of lightning. Help was a thousand volts nope. surging through my veins. Help is agony. So you sure you I'd rather die. Again? I wanted to scream. I'd rather you pulled your gun and shot me. But instead, my mouth said, Yes, Sheriff. Push it, push it, push it. Have something he wrote. We'll help you find a place to find signs. Okay. Cool. Three killed with a roller coaster. You can't derail. You can't put it on the roller coaster. Fourteen separate incidents of broken bones and crushed ribs while riding the octagon. Um, three suicides from the top of the Ferris wheel. Child seriously injured on the escalator. Over a dozen children report missing in the house of horrors. <laughs> <laughs> One report of drowning in the Town of Tales. Oh dear. Oh, so it was closed. Well, does this park look like it should be open? Yeah, probably not. <laughs> right, the Ferris wheel. Look, I want to ride. Of course, you know, they're free. Well, there's no queues. I do not know who on earth is controlling these rides. It's the weird man with the hat. Ah. People come into your life for a reason. Dad used to say that before Mom ran off. Huh. After that, he mostly just drank. Don't blame Things were different for Don and I. When we met, I was sweeping the floor at Susie's diner. He came in with some workers, but he didn't try to flirt or cop a feel like the others. He just ordered a I, coffee I and like sat I'm there, the watching me. Yeah. When my shift was over, he offered to walk me home. I don't know how to describe that walk. We talked and laughed and eventually kissed. It felt like love. It felt like a fairy tale. I can't tell you if Callum was made that night or one of the ones that followed. <laughs> but I think it has to be that night. That one perfect night. Don and I moved in together, but then, well, he died. According to the supervisor, his safety harness failed when he was working on the top of the Ferris wheel. Don was there one moment, and then gone. Sometimes people leave your life for no reason. I was three months pregnant with Callum. Fairy tale fucking over. Wow. 
language. Yeah, that's Is he? he? He's like the park supervisor, he must be. I thought so. He let his gun again. I think he is. Oh. But. Paris Rail Ride Ring? Uh, that is his time. Um, yeah. Wow. I'm gonna stand at the site and stop it here. I might be safe that way. <laughs> Hopefully. Right, well that's this episode done. Um can't say I probably have it in me to do any more. Um I'm not sleeping tonight, better that way. No. No. But no, I jump scares is one thing that I'm usually okay with, but when it's something completely new that I've got no idea on that's when it freaks me out. So, um, we're going to end it there. <coughs> Chris Vengeance is going to take over the wheel on the next episode. Hopefully riding a roller coaster, which should be a lot of fun. <laughs> so, come back and join us again. Good night.